are here to talk about Game of Thrones Episode 9, Battle of the Bastards. Ooh, how are you feeling? Holy shit, that's, that's how I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling, That dude too. jumped off the horse and then fought an army. That was a lot to process. And he almost got trampled by the army, but then he came. I mean, I, we don't have to recap it. Let's just talk about it. This is the greatest <laughs> set piece they've done since Hard Home. Yeah, and I think the thing to remember is the show has done a lot of great set pieces before. You mentioned Hard Home. There was Blackwater in season two. Yeah. But... Blackwater was magical fire versus boats. Yes. Hard home was living... And also Stannis versus Joffrey. It's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. oh you think that's a little bit of a sideshow? Yeah, no, I just mean, like, who are you cheering for in that situation? Good point. Last year was living versus the dead. Yes, I was I, cheering for the living. I know who yeah. I was rooting for, yeah. but it was still a very different thing. This was human versus human in a way that we haven't seen before, and it was absolutely brutal. Yeah, it, speaking of brutal, this is the thing about... I made the holy shit joke or whatever, but uh, Game of Thrones always shows us that war is hell. Yeah. We see it in the trenches. We see it when Stannis is waiting for the ice to thaw and his men are dying because they're so cold and they're eating their horses. And we saw it in this. I mean, the, this is close medieval combat. This is people like face to face, fist to fist, sword to sword, getting trampled, almost suffocating. I mean, there were points in that episode. You have like an idea about how it's supposed to go. And yeah. largely, I think you would agree, yeah. it did go, go uh, the way a great story would go. The good guy won. Yeah. But man, there was some touch and go moments in and there. And there was very little heroic about the way he won. It was just ugly. And yeah. I, and I think that, you know, I, as you know, I spent a lot of years writing about TV's supremacy in ways and how it's sort of taken the role of movies in the larger yeah. culture. Uh, certainly in terms of like emotional storytelling and audience affection and audience investment. The thing that movies have always had over TV over these last few years, and I think movies have steered into this, is pure physical spectacle. Yeah. You go to the theater to see something, you have the big screen, you have the surround sound, and it physically shakes you. You feel the action in your sternum, a blockbuster sort of feeling. This episode did that for me. It was this cinematic, yeah. took the crown from movies because when I was watching the battle, it really wasn't about whether Jon Snow was going to survive. I didn't know if I was going to survive. Yeah. I felt claustrophobic. The